This is Aaron with Deep Into Horror Texas interviewing Tony, a.k.a. Patient Zero, with Virus Vodka. How are you doing, Tony? I'm doing very well. Thank you. So, uh, your Virus Vodka, very good stuff. I've tested it out. We've promoted it on the show a few times. Uh, how would you come up with that? So, I grew up actually being a big horror sci-fi fan. I've always been to zombies, vampires, werewolves, post-apocalyptic, that whole scene. And I just happened to be uh, in the beverage industry for the past 14 years. So what I did, I I took what I loved growing up as a kid, combined it with what I do for a living, and created Virus Vodka. Was there any... uh creative like inspiration for like the actual shape of the bottle the beaker symbol yes yeah, so i wanted to come up with something really cool really creative something that's never been done before in the industry so i kind of like I, I thought about uh, doing a virus for the simple fact that whenever you become a zombie or a vampire or a werewolf or even the post-apocalyptic scenario mm-hmm. all of that uh is derived from a virus so I said, if I, if I call this uh, product virus vodka, I have to come up with a really cool packaging to fit that. And so I thought about a laboratory flask, hence an Erlenmeyer flask, mm-hmm. and uh, that's how we designed it. Awesome. So it was like, like obviously, the, the, biohazard, the, the biohazard symbol is on the bottle. Was zombies kind of a big play into keeping this alive? Resident Evil, Walking Dead type stuff? Correct, yes. So right now, uh, the whole zombie uh, craze is, uh, is on fire. Uh, we're definitely tapping into that. But yeah, we wanted to keep the, ha- the biohazard, which is the, the hazmat logo. Yeah. We didn't tweak it at all for simple fact that this hazmat logo is actually a royalty-free image, and you see this everywhere. So we didn't want to tweak it because we wanted to have that image so that when people see it in, in, in different contexts, it'll still remind them of virus vodka. Awesome, awesome. So one of the questions that we always ask some of our guests, uh, growing up as a kid, you were obviously in the horror movies. Correct. Which ones are your favorites? What what are your go-tos? I, believe it or not, I'm actually a big vampire fan. So I grew up watching a lot of vampire movies uh, and sci-fi movies. Uh, I've kind of picked up on the whole uh, zombie scenario. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. Obviously, The Walking Dead and some really cool uh, zombie movies. I'm a big fan of Zombieland. That's probably Mm -hmm. one of the most classic zombie movies out there. Uh, but I just grew up uh, loving vampires. I even have a tattoo of vampire bite on my <laughs> on my shoulder. So uh, I'm a big vampire fan, and uh, still to this day, I know the, you know the media kind of all washed that out so with the whole uh, Twilight series and so forth. But still, I'm still a fan and always will be. Yeah, the, Hollywood seems to be plagued by Twilight as a yeah. disease. Yeah, yeah, that's so, a, I love that point. Good, that's a good point for sure. But. Uh, but yeah, like zombies are the biggest thing, and this right. really fits in perfect with the zombie like theme. Uh, my film, my go-to, my one of my all-time favorites has always been Return of the Living Dead. Yep, oh, comedy, yeah, that's a classic. Unkillable zombies, right? Unkill the Unkillable Dead, right? Always something fun to watch, right? Always something fun to watch. Plus the soundtrack, and Lene quickly. Absolutely, and what you know. Uh, I can't wait to see what else is coming out. Uh, there's always something new coming out in the horror sci-fi genre. Mm-hmm. So very excited to see what's coming out, especially on the post-apocalyptic scenario. I'm really into that. I've always been to like gas masks and mm-hmm. that whole scene. So I'm excited to see what uh, new things will come out uh, in the in the uh, in the genre. So awesome. Well, this is day three of Texas Frightmare. Yes. How's it been for you? Phenomenal response behind the brand. Uh, they, the hotel, the convention did not allow us to sample or mm-hmm. sell any of the products, but they were serving at the hotel bars. And the people who have tried it have come back to our booth and told us how much they love the product. Yes, we have a cool bottle. People love our packaging, yes. but the juice inside is phenomenal. People have really come back and said, we really love the taste. It's, it's really clean. It's really smooth. Uh, actually, we just won two uh, silver medals at the San Francisco World Spirit Competition. That's, That's the most prestigious competition in the world. Awesome. So to meddle and at something like that, we were very proud about that. So have you met any of the, the, the names here, like the celebrities here at Texas Frightmare? Yes, actually several of them uh, have have tried the product and actually uh, have, have a couple autographed bottles uh, from William Sander, Sadler, Nev Campbell, uh, Sid Haig. Uh, I saw the picture of Elvira. Elvira. Uh, that was very interesting. Elvira actually loved it so much, she changed the name of the bottle to Elvirus, and that's how she signed my bottle. And she demanded that she get a product, so I, I gave her one, and she signed a bottle for me, and so it's, uh, everybody was happy. That's, that's she, looks, she looks good, you know, sitting next to that bottle. She looks amazing. She looks like she did back when I was a kid, and I uh, used to admire her, so uh, for, for me to actually get a signed bottle by her was uh, definitely an experience. I'm not going to lie, uh, growing up, I saw her in the convenience store with the beer, with like with the Coors cutout. Yes. I, uh, I borrowed one without the owners <laughs> knowing, by, knowing right. about this, right. because I, Elvira. Love it. You, you got, you, exactly. Unfortunately, though, 
it had little packets of like the football season inside of it. So when I grabbed it, it left a trail of where I was going oh, at the wow. store. So, so they uh, caught up to you. Okay. No, no, they didn't catch up to me, uh, but it was still funny to see like a trail of paperwork as I'm walking out of the store with Elvira folded up underneath funny. my arm. Love so, it. Uh, <laughs> but but that's that's awesome that yeah you got all this these people who are loving it out here at the show. Yes, uh, we're we will definitely be here again next year. Uh, this has been an amazing show for us just mm -hmm. to really get the exposure out and let people know about Virus Vodka. Like I said, we've only been out for four months. So to be able to get out here and see and have the fans, this is our demographic. This is our crowd. Yes. Yes. So these are the people who are going to be buying Virus Vodka. So, you uh, found a good niche with like absolutely. with this. You found a really good niche, and it's really blowing up. Like, we, like We've been promoting it, and we've, getting re we've gotten retweets. We've got people saying, I tried it out because you all mentioned it. They're buying more. Awesome. So it's been a really good response from us. Beautiful. We appreciate you guys for that. Uh, we mm -hmm. love the partnership with you all, and uh, we'll continue to, to uh, move forward with that. But, uh, yeah, so we're overwhelmed by the response, and uh, we're excited about next year. So one last question. This is what we also ask another one of our guests. Okay. Are you a full moon person or a trauma person? I would, uh, I like both, but if I had to lean one way or the other, I'd say full moon. Full moon? Yeah. Is that because he's here? Well, not necessarily, <laughs> but he's not listening, I hope. No, no, he's not All listening. All right, well then. No, I just, uh, you know, it's, I guess if I had to skew more of the majority, it says, it'd probably, probably, you know, 51, 49, so. 51. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks again, Tony. Thanks again, yeah, Patient Zero, absolutely. for uh, letting me do this interview. Absolutely. Thank and uh, you thank you for the partnership, too, with absolutely. us, you know, do, doing what we do. Appreciate it. So, and, uh, spread the virus. We, we will definitely be spreading it around. Perfect.